On September 30, 1984, George Romero released the TV series Tales from the Dark Side. This was one of my favorite shows to watch as a child. I always remember the haunting intro which showed the peaceful countryside in contrast to the dark minor keyed music and the ominous narration warning, Man lives in the sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. A few years ago, I discovered that like Romero's other zombie creations, he filmed the intro to the Tales from the Dark Side in Pennsylvania. Since then, I have attempted to determine the locations of the scenes. A few locations were confirmed online, but to find the others, I would have to travel to the alleged sites scattered across the rural state parks and locations in central Pennsylvania. Out here at Clear Creek State Park, supposedly this is where the stream scene was filmed. So trying to find the stream that you see in the intro there. But man, this is a really, really nice park. So this looks pretty close to the location so far. I'm not sure it's exactly it. I mean, things could have changed in the stream and it's not flowing anymore. You know, the road's right up there, but there is that telephone pole over there that I think you can see in the intro to, uh, to the series. So the telephone pole's there, not sure about the rocks, and there's not quite the same flow in the water here, but it's, it's very close. So the park ranger suggested that it could be in Clear Creek State Forest, which is where we're at now. There's only a couple spots where Clear Creek intersects with the road. I don't think that's it because I don't see the rock ledge. It's no luck yet, I'll have to keep looking. Where the road intersects with Clear Creek, right there. Well, a lot of really nice spots down here, but I'm not seeing the exact location that I'm looking for. I haven't been able to find those birch trees either, if that's what they are. That's what they appear to be. Buttermilk Falls, great area out here in the middle of nowhere, but this is where Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, his grandfather owned this property and he had several cottages where he used it as a retreat, but there's a huge waterfall right over here. Now supposedly he had some type of a, a pool set up before you go into the waterfall. It's kind of a trickle, but there's a nice waterfall over the side and the trail actually goes behind it. This is the area right behind the waterfall. It's pretty cool you can walk behind this thing. So I think I found the pool that he built up here. So that's the pool that he built uh, where Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers, could, uh, could hang out during the summers when he was visiting his grandfather, Fred McFeely. This is the McFeely property. I mean, this has been a really nice property back in the day for Mr. Rogers to relax and hang out with his grandfather. Fred McFeely was Mr. Rogers' grandfather. He owned this property from 1930 to 1956. Fred Rogers would actually start 
his uh, television show, Mr. Rogers, in 1968. I don't know where we're at, but I just saw a book sale, so we gotta check that out. Well, apparently, we're in New Florence. Okay, so here is the final scene of the Tales from the Dark Side intro location. You can see back there is that mountain range. All right, yeah, so I'm, I'm positive this is uh, pretty much the angle that this was shot at, but that is the mountain range you can see in the background of that scene, so I mean, it was definitely somewhere right around this location. So yeah, unfortunately, I was unable to find the exact creek location, and honestly, now I'm starting to think that it might have actually been here. I talked to the park ranger here at Lynn Run State Park. She says they have white pines similar to that intro tree section, but, but no white birch, so. But I do have this location at Lynn Run State Park and the bridge about an hour away from here. Also, unfortunately, the sun went away. I got some of those, uh, those nice sunny clouds yesterday, but yesterday was perfect conditions. It matched the exact sunny um, light that you know just shortly before sunset it looked like based on the shadows that you can see in the intro. I had that yesterday for the most part. Today it's supposed to be partly cloudy, partly sunny, so it's not looking too good for matching lighting conditions. I wanted to get the bridge, which is up next here, in that, that nice, uh, just an hour before uh, sunset light, but I don't know if nature's going to cooperate with me on that. I changed my mind about this location only because I remember something when I watched the series as a kid, a car went along under that mountain there. So I'm thinking this has to be it. I mean, that's Route 30 right there. And uh, it matches up that location. You know, most of the trees don't match. There's signs there now. I think this is the actual location now that I see the proximity to Route 30. So this was the location of the Grandview Hotel. It was built in 1927, and in 1932, they actually made it look like a ship. It was pretty cool. You can still see the foundations from this giant ship hotel restaurant that was here. And uh, some of the buildings are still left. This thing sits right on Route 30. but a great view of the valley down below. But in 1997, it was actually registered as a national historic location. Unfortunately, in 2001, it burned to the ground. But there are a bunch of old photos of this place from back in the 50s and the 60s. Online, you can see. It's a shame it no longer exists. It was an interesting structure. All right, so we found the bridge. This is pretty cool. So there's the bridge from Tales from the Dark Side here just outside Bedford, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so this thing, it's on a dirt road out here in the middle of nowhere. You can hear the turnpike off at a distance. It's fascinating to know that uh, this bridge from that intro is actually here in Pennsylvania along with all the other scenes and, and locations that George Romero picked for his horror movies. So there are a couple farms that kind of look like the farm in the intro. Uh, one of them being back there, you see where the silos are. 
I mean, it's very similar, but there would have to be a high point up there where they were filming from because it was kind of down in the valley. But while traveling here, there were several farms that looked like they probably could have matched that farm in the intro, but it would have been a matter of finding that exact angle. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't see any, any markings here indicating uh, that others are aware that this is the bridge from Tales from the Dark Side. We definitively found two of the locations. I'm not so sure about the other ones. Um, in this case here, the journey was what mattered. It was fun traveling across Pennsylvania and trying to find these locations, but it leaves me open for a part two yet to come. I'm determined to find all of the locations from that intro eventually. Mm -hmm.